You're watching sports with Andrew Ward. The Boys State Basketball Tournament in Iowa is officially set. The final tickets punch tonight in all classes. North Sky taking on top seed of the Beef Senior with a birth to state on the line. This one was a dandy. Lancers trailed by 10 entering the fourth, but check out Corvon Seals relentless in the paint with defenders all over him. Somehow gets it to go in. Lancers within six, but Senior looks to cut, close it out. Nick Timmerman to Noah Carter. He sends it in. That puts the team up 48-41. Fasten your seatbelt. The Lancers scrambling back. Samuel Kilberg for the huge three, and it's just a three-point game with two minutes to go. 50 seconds left. Carson Rollinger forces the turnover. Here comes Kilberg. He lays it in. Now just a two-point senior lead. Under 10 ticks left. Same score. A wild chase. Reese Summers from downtown. It's good. The game winner. Lancers win an instant classic 53-52. They head back to state for the first time since 2015. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, just a great offensive possession by uh, Tavy, and he kicked it to me, and uh, I was ready to hit it, so pretty cool. It was a great environment. Our fans came out and showed us support, even, even when we were down. Um, adversity hit early on and, and towards the end of the game. Corvon fouled out, and we, we just had to pull it together and uh, finish off the game. I thought our guys just really stuck together, and they've stuck together all year. We've had a lot of ups. We've had a lot of downs, and, um, you know, like every team goes through, but um, could be any happier for this group. Another 4A sub-state final. Joe Wieskamp and Muscatine looking to clinch a birth to state against the Linmar. First quarter, the battle between Wieskamp and Trey Hutchison for Linmar. Wieskamp the drive there. And then Hutchison, the mid-range J. Both players had 11 points just in the first quarter alone. Second half. Wieskamp, the three ball. Huskies led by seven at the break. Then fourth quarter, setting it in, Joe. What a game for him. 36 points, 14 boards. Back on the Lions. Hutchison, three ball. That puts Linmar with it up two, but back comes Wieskamp, hoop, and the harm. That puts Muscatine up three, the final heave at the buzzer, caroms off, Wieskamp and the Muskies finally headed to state 58 to 55, the final score. In Illinois, UT and Normal West in a regional semifinal first quarter. UT down, but not out. Atem Agatz drains the three from the corner, then still chipping away at an early deficit. Jean-Luc Wilson. Hits the little floater in the lane, but UT sees its season end 51 to 38. Your final in 1A, Millsville in the first in its first sectional semifinal ever, taking on top seed at East Dubuque, and it was raining threes in the first. Millsville striking first. Nathan Ron and knocking down the triple missiles by one. Later, back come the Warriors. Nicholas Klusner hits a three for East Dubuque, and the Warriors reclaim the lead. Back and forth we go. Kyle Ottens coming off a 40-point performance in the regional final. He dishes it to Blaine Kappis. For the three, missiles pull within one. Then just before the first quarter buzzer, Lane Boyer hits the desperation shot to beat the horn. He led all scores of 22. Warriors moving on 52 to 47. Other scores in Illinois in 3A, Galesburg and Rock Falls advance to the regional finals, while in 2A, Bureau Valley moves on to their own sectional final, while Anawan does the same in 1A. While entering today, just one girls basketball team remained in the QCA. That was Assumption. The Lady Knights in a Class 3A state quarterfinal today. Gabriella Rusk has our coverage from Des Moines. The lone MAC team competing at the state tournament. Davenport Assumption is familiar with the Wells Fargo Arena competing here last year in the quarterfinal round. And this trip to Des Moines marks 15 times the Knights have been to the state tournament. This year taking on the Lady Comets of North Polk. Out of the gate for the Knights, Carly Brown finishes a bucket to put Assumption on the board first. Knights began to trail early. Two minutes left in the half. Caroline Crosby sinks a three ball through, making it a one-point game. North Polk hungry for more to count. The clock ticking. Katie Brown nails a three-pointer, giving the Comets the lead into the half. Into the third quarter, Bailey Brown comes alive with her signature shot from downtown. She would finish with 18 points overall. North Polk begins to pull away, but not before Hannah Whistlander drives and picks up the foul. She totaled 11 in this game, but the season ends here for the Lady Knights. North Polk advances to the semifinals. Final score 64 to 47. But we just talked about how you know proud we are of them um, for everything that they've done for our program and this team and, and Assumption. They wear the jersey with pride, um, and we're just really 
happy for, for ending their career in Des Moines. Yeah, I was just trying to get everything I had. I just didn't want it, didn't want it to end. And I mean, the outcome wasn't what we wanted, but I wouldn't want to do it with anyone else. And with Assumption's loss, the last of area girls teams competing in the postseason comes to an end. Reporting from Wells Fargo Arena in Des Moines, Gabriella Rusk, KWQC TV 6 Sports. Gabriella, thank you. For four years, Assumption's Trenton Wallace dazzled on the diamond, pitching his way to four All-State selections. Now he hopes to continue that success as a Hawkeye. Wallace get his first career start today in Iowa's home opener against Cornell College this afternoon, and he was impressive. Wallace went three innings, scattered four hits, striking out three batters while not surrendering a walk or a run. He picks up the win. Iowa scores seven in the first as Wallace and the Hawks cruise 15-1 the final there. The final week of the regular season for the Big 12 in Iowa State hoping for another quality win at home tonight. The Cyclones taking on Oklahoma State on senior night. Donovan Jackson back in the lineup after missing the last game to attend his father's funeral. Second half, Jackson finds Ryan Talley for three of his 15 points. Later on, Jackson trying to keep the Cyclones in, and he hits the triple. He finished with 17 points in his final game at Hilton Coliseum, but the Cyclones fall in this one, 80 to 71. And finally tonight, the IC women get a nice road win, 65 to 56 at Kansas. That's it for sports. We'll be right back.